today we shall solve exercise 5.6 of class 12 continuity and differentiability let's begin the first question x given as 280 square and y given as 80 power 4 differentiate both sides with respect to x first we'll take the case of x c dx upon dt what is the derivative of 280 square 2a as it is multiplied by we will take the derivative of t square which will be 2t so dx by dt comes out to be 4at okay and now we will do the derivative of this function dy by dt is equal to a as it is t power 4 derivative will be 4 multiplied by t power 3 so this comes out to be 4at power 3 this is dx by dt and this is dy by dt we have to calculate dy by dx what we will do is dy by dt whole upon dx by dt so this is taken as dy by dt multiplied by dt by dx ultimately dt dt cancels and we are left with dy by dx so we will take this 480 cube in the numerator and 480 in the denominator this 4a and 4a here it will get cancelled from the denominator this 4a and this 4a in the numerator and denominator gets cancelled we are left with t cube upon t which gives us t square as the answer this is the answer to the first question very simple question now question number two we are given x is equal to a cos theta and y as b cos theta differentiating with respect to x both the sides let us take the case of x first we will calculate dx upon d theta now be very careful you have to write d theta in the denominator so it is a as it is because it is multiplied by cos theta and what is the derivative of cos theta this is minus sine theta so you get dx by d theta is equal to a minus sine theta right if we take the case of y, we will get dy by d theta, b as it is. What is the derivative of cos theta? It is minus sin theta. So, we get dy by d theta is equal to b into minus sin theta. Now, we have to calculate dy by dx. What we will do is dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta this will give you dy by d theta multiplied by d theta upon dx d theta d theta get cancelled ultimately we get dy by d theta so first we will write this answer minus b sin theta divided by this answer minus a sin theta so the sin theta sin theta here will get cancelled and we are left with and this minus and this minus also get cancelled we are left with b upon a is the answer to the second question let's move to the question number three x is equal to sine t and y is equal to cos 2t differentiating with respect to x in the first case we will get dx by dt derivative of sine t is cos t so the first instance answer is cos t in the second case we will take dy by dt right now what is the derivative of cos 2t it will be minus sin 2t multiplied by the derivative of 2t which is 2 so you get minus sin 2t 2 which will be written as minus 2 sin 2t okay now you cannot you cannot multiply this 2 by this 2 no this will remain separate 2t and this 2 will come in the beginning. Your answer will be minus 2 sin 2t. This is the repetition of what we have been doing in the last two questions. dy by dx is dy by dt multiplied by dx upon dt. This is the same I won't repeat. So in the numerator you will write this answer minus 2 sin 2t divided by cos t. Okay. Now, we will be using this formula. Sin 2 theta can be written as 2 sin theta cos theta. Okay. So, we will be replacing sin 2t by 2 sin t cos t. In this case, this minus 2 
which is given in the beginning this minus 2 it is coming here as it is okay and now this sine 2 t has been used with this formula sine 2 theta and using this formula we have replaced it with 2 sine t cos t okay now as you can see that this cos t and this cos t in the numerator and denominator it will get cancelled off okay you are left with minus 2 into 2 gives you minus 4 minus 4 sine t is the answer to the question number 3 now coming to the question number 4 you are given x is equal to 4 t and y is equal to 4 upon t differentiating with respect to x on both the sides dx by dt is 4 very simple and what is dy by dt it is 4 upon t which can be written as it, the derivative will come out to be 4 as it is minus 1 t raised to the power minus 2 so your answer is minus 4 t power minus 2 okay substituting the value here dy by dx it will be in the numerator you will be writing minus 4 t power minus 2 divided by dx by dt which is 4 we see that this 4 cancels with this 4 you are left with minus t power minus 2 this can be reframed as minus 1 upon t power 2 so this is a very again a very simple question number 4 moving forward to fifth question the question says x is equal to cos theta minus cos 2 theta and y is equal to sin theta minus sin 2 theta. Differentiating with both sides with respect to x. First case we will find dx by d theta. What is the derivative of cos theta? It is minus sin theta written here. This minus sin coming here as it is. What is the derivative of cos 2 theta? It is minus sin 2 theta multiplied by 2. Please don't forget this extra 2 because here you have 2 theta. So you get minus sin theta minus minus sin 2 theta multiplied by 2. So this can be written as minus sin theta. This minus minus will go as plus 2 sin 2 theta. So you can reframe it getting the positive sides in the beginning you will get 2 sin 2 theta minus sin theta. This is dx by d theta. Now in the second case we will calculate dy by d theta. What is the derivative of sin theta? It is cos theta minus sin as it is will be copied. What is the derivative of sin 2 theta? It will be cos 2 theta multiplied by 2. Kindly don't miss this 2. So, if you open the bracket, we will get cos theta minus 2 cos 2 theta, right? Now, dy by dx is dy by d theta upon dx by d theta. So, first we will write this in the numerator. It will come out cos theta minus 2 cos 2 theta divided by taking the value from here, you will get 2 sin 2 theta minus sin theta. This is the answer to the question number 5. Move forward. Question number 6. X is equal to A theta minus sin theta. Let us uh, find the derivative of X first and then I will move to Y. So differentiating with respect to theta, you will get dx upon d theta is the derivative of d upon d theta. The whole equation as it is A bracket starts theta minus sin theta. Now, when you will calculate the derivative a as it is because it is by multiplied by the function, what is the derivative of theta? This will be 1 and derivative minus sine as it is, derivative of sine theta is cos theta. So, you get dx by d theta is a bracket starts 1 minus cos theta. Coming to y function, y is equal to a 1 plus cos theta. So, dy by d theta will be d by d theta, the whole equation a 1 plus cos theta. So, a being multiplied by the function, it will be copied like this a as it is. Derivative of 1 is 0 and derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta. So, if you open the bracket, you will get minus a sin theta. Okay. Coming over to dy by dx will be dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta. So in the numerator you will write minus a sin theta picking from here and in the denominator you will write a bracket starts 1 minus cos theta. 
so here we have substituted the values of both the functions now we will be reframing it further this sin theta it will be replaced by using this formula sin theta is 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta upon 2 please put in the value you will get see first of all kindly cancel uh, this a in the numerator this a in the numerator by this a in the denominator okay the rest you are left with minus sin theta using the formula you will write picking the equation from here minus sin as it is in the numerator you will write 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 now this was for the numerator coming to the denominator you are left with 1 minus cos theta. Here again you will be using the formula 1 minus cos theta is equal to 2 sin square theta by 2. Kindly substitute this whole value in the denominator. You will get 2 sin square theta by 2. Okay. Now if you observe it closely, uh, this minus 2, uh, yes, this 2 will get cancelled by this 2 from the denominator and the numerator. Minus sign will be copied as it is. In the numerator you have sin theta by 2. And in the denominator you have sin square theta by 2. So this square will get cancelled. This sin theta by 2 will get cancelled. You will be left with cos theta by 2 upon sin theta by 2. So cos upon sin is cot. So answer is minus cot theta by 2. This is the answer to the question number 6. Moving to question number 7. It's a very simple question. No doubt it's a bit lengthy. So please listen very carefully. First we will take up the case of x. Given x is equal to sin cube t upon under root of cos 2t. First we will find dx by dt. Take dx by dt. You will be using the uv formula. u upon v formula. In the denominator this denominator square. So, under root of cos 2t whole square. Okay. Moving to the numerator. Denominator as it is. Under root of cos 2t as it is. Multiplied by the derivative of the numerator. Now, the derivative of sin cube t. It will come out by the formula x power n. It will be n x n minus 1. So, the derivative of sin cube t will be 3 will come in the beginning sin square t because here you did 3 minus 1 you are getting 3 sin square t multiplied by the derivative of sin t which is cos t. So you are getting 3 sin square t cos t bracket closes minus the numerator as it is sin cube t as it is multiplied by the derivative of the denominator. Now what is the derivative of under root of cos 2t? It will be 1 upon 2 under root of cos 2t multiplied by the derivative of cos 2t. Uh, the derivative will be sin 2t multiplied by the derivative of 2. So this extra 2 also comes because ultimately you have to find the derivative of 2t which will be 2. So you will get minus 2 sin 2t whole upon 2 under root of cos 2t. I repeat how you get the derivative of this denominator under root of cos 2t. See, this is basically cos 2t raised to the power 1 by 2. So, it will come in the beginning. It will be 1 by 2 under root of cos 2t in the denominator. And in the numerator, you will get minus 2 sin 2t. Because derivative of cos 2t will be minus sin 2t. And then you have to find the derivative of 2t which is 2. So, don't miss out this 2. Now reframing the equation, you will get, see, this is 3 sin square t cos t. Okay, and now this is sin cube t minus sin 2t upon 2 under root of cos 2t. If you take the common denominator of the numerator, this cos 2t will be multiplied by this. So you will be getting 3 cos 2t multiplied by sin square t cos t as it is. Because first of all, if you see it carefully, this uh, see it out. This this two from here and this two they will get cancelled. So 
ultimately you are having this cos 2t in the denominator and you can multiply it by this cos 2t and then this cos 2t you will get one common denominator in the numerator and this cos 2t will come out here this under root of cos 2t is being shown in this i have highlighted it with a red mark okay so now what are you getting is you are getting 3 cos 2t multiplied by sin square t plus sin 2t sin cube t now how did you get see this minus and this minus they will turn out to be plus so here you will get sin cube t which i have written here and this sin 2t here so plus sin 2t sin cube t is coming out here now when you will be multiplying this by this under root under root under root will get cancelled you will get cos 2t as it is this 3 has come in the beginning so it is 3 cos 2t multiplied by sin square t from here and cos t from here now since you took a common denominator under root of cos 2t it will be shown here which i have highlighted and this cos 2t under root whole square this 2 and under root will get cancelled you will get cos 2t okay now reframing the question we will be using this formula that cos 2t is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square t instead of writing this cos 2t from here this portion i will be using this formula and substituting it with this see this has been used so this 3 will be coming as it is copied and instead of cos 2t i will pick this formula i will write minus 2 sin square t multiplied by sin square t cos t as it is plus now this sin 2t another formula to be used sin 2t is equal to 2 sin t cos t so instead of sin 2t i will be using this formula this this point sin 2t i will be using 2 sin t cos t another formula and this sin cube t will be copied as it is the denominator will remain as it is now if i open the brackets what am i left with i will be getting 3 sin square t cos t which i have written here okay second function which i will be getting is 3 to the 6 with the minus sign i will get minus 6 sin power 4t cot t i repeat minus 6 sin power 4t cot t and from here i will get 2 sin power 4t cot t here it was minus 6 and here it is plus 2 so i will be left with minus 4 sin power 4t cos t divided by the numerator denominator as it is i repeat 3 sin square t cos t minus 4 sin power 4t cos t whole upon cos 2t under root of cos 2t okay let's move further now we will take the case of y y is given as cos cube t upon under root of cos 2t we will be applying the u upon v formula dy by dt will be in the denominator you will be getting the square of the denominator cos 2t under root ka whole square in the numerator you will write the denominator as it is under root of cos 2t as it is multiplied by the derivative of the numerator now the derivative of cos cube t will be this 3 will come in the beginning 3 cos square t because it is cos cube t na so 3 power minus 1 it will give you cos power 2t multiplied by the derivative of cos t so what is the derivative of cos t it will be minus sin t the minus sign comes here and sin t comes here and the bracket closes minus the numerator as it is cos power 3t as it is multiplied by the derivative of the denominator which is under root of cos 2t so what will be the derivative of under root of cos 2t it will be giving you in the you will get minus 2 sin 2t whole upon 2 under root of cos 2t so how do you get it see cos 2t under root means cos 2t power 1 upon 2 so when you will take the derivative 1 upon 2 will come in the beginning and cos 2t power 1 upon 2 minus 1 will give you minus 1 upon 2 which will give you under root of cos 2t in the denominator right 
multiplied by the derivative of cos 2t. So what is the derivative of cos 2t? It is minus sine 2t multiplied by the derivative of 2t which is 2. Okay, so please don't get confused in calculating this value. It is not that difficult as it sounds to be, but it, you have to do step by step. Now coming to the main question, if you open this bracket, you will be getting this is cos 2t under root and this is cos square t with the minus sign sin t. So you will write minus 3 cos 2t cos square t sin t plus sin 2t cos cube t. How do you get it? See, first of all, the first step which you will be doing is please cancel this two with this two. They will get cancelled to each other and you take a common denominator. This is cos under root of 2t and this is cos under root of 2t. When they will get multiplied to each other, if you will take a common denominator, you will get the answer cos 2t. Their under roots will get cancelled, right? So what you will be left with this minus sign, this minus sign, this one, this is coming out here with the minus sign. This three is copied here as it is. Okay. Cos t, cos square t, sin t from here you can write it here as it is. Okay. And now you are left with sin 2t. You pick it up from here. Sin 2t comes out here. And this is cos cube t which is copied here. This cos cube t is copied here. Okay, and in the denominator, because you have taken the common denominator from here, you are getting under root of cos 2t. This is that cos 2t which you picked it up from here. This, this cos 2t, you took it, you multiplied it by with this, right? You multiplied it by uh, this term. This under root of cos 2t was multiplied by this cos 2t. That is why you got here cos 2t. And now this, which I showed you the bigger arrow, this is coming out here, this one, this, okay. Now moving further, you are getting this, you will be substituting the value from the formula cos 2t is giving you 2 cos square t minus 1. So instead of this cos 2t, please substitute 2 cos square t minus 1 multiplied by cos square t sine t as it is plus cos cube t you will pick and you will write it here. Another formula which we will be using is sine 2t is 2 sine t cos t. So instead of this sine 2t you will be writing 2 sine t cos t with the denominator as it is. Okay here I have used two formula and I have substituted in this very line and please remember these formula. Okay now if you open the brackets <coughs> you will be getting this you will give you minus 6 cos square t multiplied by cos square t sine t. And if you open this bracket, you will get 2 sine t cos power 4 t. So this is, you will get 3 cos square t sine t minus 4 cos power 4 sine t whole upon cos 2t under root of cos 2t. Moving further. Now, we will use this dy by dx is equal to dy by dt upon dx upon dt. Substituting the values which we just found in the previous slide, you will write 3 cos square t sin t minus 4 cos power 4 t sin t whole upon 3 sin square t cos t minus 4 sin power 4 t cos t. Okay. Now, we will be shifting it a little and Uh, you will write cos square t sin t. You will take it as common and you will be left with 3 here minus 4 as it is. Because you have taken cos square t sin t uh, as common, you will be left with cos square t. Okay. Similarly, you take sin square t cos t here common. You will be left with this 3 minus 4 as it is sin square t. Bracket closes. Okay. And now if you see that this is cos square t and this is cos t. You just cancel it out. You will be left with cos t in the numerator. Here it is sin t and in the denominator it is sin square t. This will also get cancelled out and you will be left with sin t in the denominator. The rest equation as it is 3 minus 4 cos square t and 3 minus 4 sin square t. Okay. Now we will be using another formula. 
before that you please open the bracket you are having 3 cos t minus 4 cos cube t whole upon 3 sin t minus 4 sin cube t. Now here formula says 4 cos cube t minus 3 cos t is equal to cos 3t. The formula is the same with just the minus sign before 4 and here it is saying minus sign before 3. So you will get minus cos 3 in the numerator. The second formula is sin 3t is equal to 3 sin t minus 4 sin cube t. Here the signs are also matching. So you will get sin 3t in the denominator. So now you will get cos 3t upon sin 3t which can be substituted by cot 3t with the minus sign minus copied as it is. So this is the answer to the next question. Moving further. Eighth question. x is equal to a cos t plus log tan upon tan t upon 2. Let us solve the case of x first. dx upon dt is equal to a. You keep it in the beginning. Derivative of cos t will be taken as minus sin t plus. Just as log of x derivative is 1 upon x. Similarly, you will do 1 upon tan t by 2 multiplied by the derivative of tan t by 2 will be sec square t by 2 multiplied by t derivative of t upon 2 which will be 1 upon 2. So you get a minus sin t plus 1 upon tan t upon 2 into sec square t upon 2 into 1 upon 2. Right? Now you are writing it a bracket starts minus sin t 1 upon this tan t upon 2 can be written uh, this is sec square t upon 2 and here it is tan t upon 2. So tan t upon 2 can be very well written as cos upon uh, sin upon cos and this is sec square t upon 2. So this can be written as 1 upon cos square t upon 2. So this is sin upon cos and this is 1 upon cos square. So the denominators cos and cos will get cancelled. You will be left with 1 upon 2 sin t upon 2 into cos t upon 2. Actually what is happening is this 1 upon 2 which is lying here is shown at this place. And we have just shuffled up this tan and sec square. We are left with sin t upon 2 cos t upon 2. Right? Now what we do is we substitute. We can use the formula sin t is equal to 2 sin t upon 2 cos t upon 2. So this is basically what is in the denominator. Kindly substitute it with sin t. So you get a minus sin t upon 1 upon sin t. Please take common LCM. You will get sin t in the denominator. In the numerator you will have 1 minus sin square t. Another formula to be used is 1 minus sin square t is equal to cos square t. So please put in this formula, you will get A multiplied by cos square t upon sin t. Right? Now take the case of y. Given equation is y is equal to A sin t. dy by dt will be A as it is. The derivative of sin t is cos t. Now let's come to the main question. dy by dx is equal to dy by dt whole upon dx by dt. Substitute the values you have a cos t upon what we calculated in the previous slide a cos square t upon sin t. And uh, if you see this can this sign will go on the top and you will get this cos and this cos square will get cancelled. You will get and this a and this a also will get cancelled. Answer is tan t. Let's move to the next question. Question number 9. It is given as x is equal to a sec theta. Let us calculate dx by d theta. You will get a sec theta tan theta because the derivative of sec theta is sec theta as it is into tan theta. Given y equation is y is equal to b tan theta. What is the derivative of tan theta? It is sec square theta. So dy by d theta is equal to b into sec square theta. Now coming to the main question dy by dx is equal to dy by d theta upon dx by d theta. Substitute the values. From here, we will pick in the numerator b sec square theta whole upon a sec theta tan theta. b upon a can be taken as common. Sec square theta and sec theta will get cancelled. You are left with sec theta upon tan theta. 
विच कैन बी रिटर्न एज डी अपॉन ए कोजेक्ट थीटा राइट क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन x इज इक्वल टू ए कॉस थीटा प्लस थीटा साइन थीटा नाउ डी एक्स अपॉन डी थीटा विल बी ए एज इट इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ कॉस थीटा प्लस थीटा साइन थीटा नाउ आंसर विल बी ए एज इट इज द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ कॉस थीटा विल बी टेकन एज माइनस साइन थीटा दिस डेरिवेटिव कॉस थीटा इट विल बी रिटर्न एज माइनस साइन थीटा प्लस नाउ हियर द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ थीटा साइन थीटा यू विल बी यूजिंग द यू वी फॉर्मूला फर्स्ट equation theta as it is multiplied by the derivative of second function sin theta ka derivative is cos theta plus sin theta as it is multiplied by the derivative of theta which is 1 so you will be getting a minus sin theta plus theta cos theta plus sin theta so this sin theta and this minus sin theta will get cancelled off you will get a theta cos theta as your dx by d theta. now let us take the case of y y is equal to a sin theta minus theta cos theta d y by d theta will be a as it is multiplied by the derivative of sin theta minus theta cos theta you will get a as it is what is the derivative of sin theta derivative of sin theta here you will get cos theta minus the derivative of theta cos theta you will be taking it as uv formula so this minus will be copied here big bracket starts first function theta as it is multiplied with the derivative of second function cos theta answer is minus sin theta plus second function cos theta as it is multiplied by the derivative of first function derivative of theta is 1 so you are getting a cos theta minus theta sin theta plus cos theta okay now this cos theta will get cancelled mm, so this minus minus will get plus and this minus uh, this cos theta it will get minus from here and this plus cos theta and minus cos theta will get cancelled answer is a theta sin theta coming to dy by dx is dy by d theta upon dx by d theta you will get a theta sin theta copied from here upon a theta cos theta a theta a theta will get cancelled sin theta upon cos theta answer is tan theta moving over to the next question question number 11 x is equal to under root of a sin inverse t please take log on both sides you will get log of x is equal to this power of under root will be reflected here 1 upon 2 log of a sin inverse t right so this can be written as 1 upon 2 log a sin inverse t differentiating with both sides with respect to x you will get derivative of log x will be written as 1 upon x dx by dt is equal to 1 upon 2 log of a derivative of sin inverse t here you will not be using uv formula because this log a will be treated like a multiple it will be taken as separately okay so you will get the answer 1 upon 2 log of a what is the derivative of sin inverse t it will be written as 1 upon under root of 1 minus t square okay now take this x towards the right hand side you will get dx upon dt is equal to x log a upon 2 multiplied by 1 upon under root of 1 minus t square moving further now the case of y y is under root of a cos inverse t as we took in the previous slide take log log of y is equal to this under root will be reflected in the beginning 1 upon 2 log of a cos inverse t now log y can be written as 1 upon 2 cos inverse t into log of a differentiating both sides with respect to x what is the derivative of log y it will be 1 upon y dy by dt is equal to 1 upon 2 log of a as it is multiplied by the derivative of cos inverse t it will give you minus 1 upon under root of 1 minus t square please take y towards the right hand side you will get minus y log of a upon 2 multiplied by 1 upon under root of 1 minus t square coming to the main question dy by dx is equal to dy by dt multiplied by dt by dx so you will get minus y log of a upon 2 multiplied by 1 upon under root of 1 minus t square multiplied by 2 into under root of 1 minus t square upon x log of a if you see carefully this 2 will this 2 in the denominator it will this one it will uh, it will get cancelled with this two under root of 1 minus t square will get cancelled with this 
log of a will get cancelled with this log of a, right? And then you are left with answer minus y upon x as the answer. Here we come to the end of the article. I hope I have made the exercise very clear to you. Keep practicing these questions again and again and don't forget the formulas. Make a list of the formulas which are used in this exercise. You have to learn them up. Only then you will be able to solve these questions. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Stay blessed.